students. Uh, in the last session, we have explained about the properties of arithmetic progression and also definition of arithmetic progression. In this class, we will write general arithmetic progression, nth term of the arithmetic progression, and also sum of first n terms of the arithmetic progressions. So, uh, first one, general AP, general arithmetic progression. And nth term also we will write. Nth term in the sense of general term of an arithmetic progression. When the term is arithmetic progression, sorry, uh, when the arithmetic progression is general term, I have very good. General term is right. When the AP put it in the AP cut to AP and AP cut to the other end of the model and more term will not have a 3, 5, 7 and 30. Then they will ask you the particular terms like. What is 20 at the term? What is 50 at the term? What is 100 at the term of the AP? And the other thing is that you can use general term. So, uh, general arithmetic progression we will write first. You see, arithmetic progression in the sense after this we wrote a1, a2, a3, so on, a4 uh, is in AP. Is in AP. If, if, a is first term, if A is first term and D is common difference of the arithmetic progression, then what we can write? He is now general term in M. A is first term, and A model of A1 is nothing but A. And next, how will you get the second term? Second term we will get by adding common difference to the first term. First term again, common difference and add money. Now, second term and the other Andre, A2 is nothing but A plus D. A2 is nothing but A plus D. And then, what about the third term? Third term is nothing but adding common difference to the previous term. Andre, second term will A plus D, A3. A plus D is a common difference on the add one. What will be the third term? Third term will be A plus D plus D. A plus D plus D is nothing but A plus 2D. And how will you get the fourth term? By adding common difference to the third term. Means that will be A plus 2D plus D. That is nothing but A plus 3D. Suppose there is an nth term. An so on in the AP. Suppose there is an nth term. Is the nth term I think. I nth term now I am going to do. You can note first term A. A1 is there. A nth term is now. And A2. A plus 1D. A2 is A plus 1D. A3 is nothing but A plus 2D. 3 is that. 3 minus 1. Next, fourth term. A plus 4 minus 1 into d is nothing but a plus 3d. In the same way, suppose there is a tenth term. I will write tenth term into a new a plus 10 minus 1 into d. That is nothing but a plus 9d. In the same way, an is there. So, general term you want to write. General term an is nothing but a plus n minus 1 into d. Like that, we can write infinite number of terms. We can write. Suppose there is a kth term, kth term at the way, nth term in general I am representing a n, suppose a k is the kth term, what you will write, kth term, kth term on the way, kth term is nothing but a plus k minus 1 into d, fine, so first term a1 is equal to a k, a2 is equal to a plus 2 minus 1 into d we can write. A2 is a plus d. That is nothing but a plus d. Next, a3. What is that? a plus 2d is that. a plus 2d in the sense. That is nothing but a plus 3 minus 1 into d. That is a plus 2d. In the same way, suppose we are writing 15th term. 15th term if you are writing a15 is nothing but a plus 14d. What will be 50th term? I will tell you a plus 49D. 
in general i can write a nth term nth term will be represented as a an an nth term is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d this is about a nth term suppose they ask you to find out the 20th term what you do just you substitute n is equal to 20 a 20 is equal to a plus 20 minus 1 into d is nothing but a plus 19 d this is called a general term or a nth term it is not general term not to create you it is a nth term not to look at it that is about nth term and general IFE coming to the next part that is sum of sum of first n terms sum of first n terms of an arithmetic progression one the arithmetic progression only first n terms will be the 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 first n terms if they ask you to find out the first 10 terms sum modala 10 padagala motta eshtu anta kelidru andre modala 20 padagala motta eshtu anta kelidru andre modala 100 padagala motta eshtu anta kelidru andre now ile 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 athara 20 padagala do sambandha tagolta kutkolike agangilla so what we will write we will write sn formula sum of n terms of formula barithivri now ile what is that how will you write? How to get that term in essence, sir? Just to listen here. If a comma a plus d comma a plus two d comma a plus three d so on of two a plus n minus one into d is an arithmetic progression. It is an arithmetic progression. I get to understand. Understand? You know? This is first net term A1, this is third net term A2, this is third term A3, this is fourth term A4, so on of two, this is nth term. Like that terms are there, A1, comma A2, comma A3, so on of two, A n. What we want here? We want sum of first n terms. The sum of first n terms will be represented as Sn. That is why Sn is the representation of the theory. Sn is equal to A1 plus A2 plus a3 plus so on of 2 a n sum of first n terms so sn is equal to a1 a2 a3 it is an arithmetic progression this can be taken as a1 means a plus a2 means a plus d plus a3 means a plus 2d similarly suppose a4 i can write a plus 3d so on of to a n in the sense of that is nth term this can be written as a plus n minus 1 into d and then now a plus n minus 1 into d and the body now you will see how many times a is there yes to sorry a and third a3 you know it you know it 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 and third a3 and the body will do not say you know it will be 4 times 3 is getting add so this can be written as 4 into 3. How new 4 into 3 and 3 are very good. In the same way, n how many, sorry, a how many times is repeating here? a how many times it is getting add? Yes, sir, I have to add the other end. n terms are there. n times a is there. So that is nothing but n here. Otherwise, I will write one more step. Directly we will write n a plus half. Now remaining terms you see. D plus here 2D, here 3D, similarly 4D, so on of 2, N minus 1 into D. NA, you keep it as it is, plus of. From remaining terms, what is common here? D is common. You take the D outside. D are the right? Remaining terms you write. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, so on of 2, N minus 1 whole thing is multiplied with d because d is taken common here n a let it be as it is how i can take the sum of all these these are nothing but sum of first n minus one natural numbers natural numbers are correct value so much because i'm going to take it so much because i'm going to do not the formula i hope 
all of you know 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 1 of 2 n modala n padagala motta modala modala n natural number gala motta sum of first n natural numbers is nothing but n into n plus 1 by 2 this is the standard formula you need to remember and what does it mean in artha kodutiddu if they ask you to find out sum of first 10 natural numbers andre modala 10 swabhavika sankhyagala motta anta kelidru andre 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus ಆ ಹತ್ತರ ವರೆಗೂ ನಾವು ಕೌಂಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂತ ಕೋದ್ರ ಕೂಡ ಬರಲಾಗಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ರೈಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನೊಂದು ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಐತೆ ಅಲ್ರಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ n 10 ಅಂತ ನೀವು ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಮಾಡ್ರಿ 10 into 10 plus 1 10 into 11 by 2 ಎಷ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅಲ್ರಿ ಅದೇ ಮೊದಲ 10 ಸ್ವಾಭಾವಿಕ ಸಂಖ್ಯೆಗಳ ಮೊತ್ತ ವೆರಿ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ n ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ಟು ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ದೆ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಯು ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ 20 ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಟು ಡು 1 plus 2 plus 3 ಅಪ್ ಟು 20 which is equal to the, that sum will be same as 20 into 20 plus 1 by 2. So, here what we have, we have sum of first n minus 1 natural numbers. Sum of first n minus 1 natural numbers in the sense, 1 plus 2 plus 3 of 2, n minus 1 I have to take. In place of n, we have n minus 1 here. This will be n minus 1 into n minus 1 plus 1. In place of n, I am substituting n minus 1. Only divided by 2. This is n minus 1 into minus 1 plus 1 get cancelled. n divided by 2. Nothing but n into n minus 1 by 2. This is sum of first n minus 1 natural numbers formula. You need to remember this. So, with this standard result, we can get any numbers like sum of first n plus 1 natural numbers. Or sum of First n plus 2 natural numbers are like that. n a this will be as it is. Sum of first n minus 1 natural numbers formula n into n minus 1 divided by 2 into d. Let me take n by 2 common here. If I take n by 2 common here, by 2 is not there. I am taking common in the sense 2 will be there. n is outside 2a plus half n by 2 is already outside. Remaining terms are n minus 1 into d. Remaining terms are n minus 1 into d and 3. This is s yes, is equal to. This is the formula to find out the first n natural sorry, first n terms of an arithmetic progression. And the arithmetic progression is modala n padagala motta calculation model ke the sum. It is the formula. This formula can be rewritten as the formula na matto on the way na bari or Sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a. I will write this one as a plus a. That is a plus a and the very thing, right? Plus of n minus 1 into d. n minus 1. This one you observe. Even you observe what right? That is nothing but nth term. Or last term. This is the last term. So, Sn is equal to n by 2 into this first a will be kept as it is this will be kept as nth term a n some people used to write a is equal to l here l the body first n terms of sum is nothing but sn is equal to n by 2 plus first term plus last term these two are the standard formulas for sn you need to remember so next time we will take the problems
two problems I have written here. That is example 4 and example 5. Let me solve example 4 first. In an AP, if mth term is n and nth term is m, where m is not equal to n, find the pth term. <coughs> In an AP, on the arithmetic progression, on the Samanantra thread, M the term N and the three means given M the term is N. That means what? That means AM is equal to N. AM is equal to N. And what about the other one case? N the term is M means nth term is m. We have here nth term in the sense a m which is nothing but m. In that case what is the pth term? Is it to andre pth term a no the calculation what is pth term? What is pth term? Just for the analysis purpose it is pth term in the sense a p. So using the general term a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d AP is nothing but A plus P minus 1 into DE. This is AP. This one I have to calculate. What are the unknown quantities in the pth term? AP is equal to A and D. First term A and the common difference D. I have to calculate using these two statements. You are going to use mark condo. Now AP and the calculation mark. So here are AM is nothing but what? AM is nothing but A plus m minus 1 into d equal to n. In the same, let me take this as expression 1. I have a n is equal to m. Means uh, nth term is m. That can be written as uh, a plus n minus 1 into d is equal to m. Let me take this as second term. a 20, 20th term and a 20 and now you can a plus 20 minus 1 into d. In the same way, suppose they ask you to find out rth term. rth term at the head of a plus r minus 1 into d. In the nth term at the head of a plus n minus 1 into d. Here a mth term is n at the head of a. E is equal to the term. mth term. mth term at the head of a plus m minus 1 into d equal to n at the head So, here an expression is not equal to the head of a. Here an expression is not equal to the head of a. Now, pth term calculation is not equal to the head of a. P term calculate mod like a a mathe d big. We want first term and a common difference. So let me solve these two. If you are now solve mod on right, solve mod in the middle of a and d sub. To solve equation 1 and 2, what to do? You observe the a coefficients. a coefficients are same here. That is nothing but 1. a na sankhya saha guna ka yes to it on right. 1 mathe 1 and 3 it. Suppose na vena ru ili. 1 minus 2 अंतर तोड़ने बंद रहे equation 1 minus equation 2 अंतर तोड़ने बंद रहे easy है कि ये cancel लाख दे so we will we will calculate the d d है ना easy calculation so what you do take the operation equation 1 minus equation 2 equation 1 is a plus m minus 1 into d is equal to n and equation 2 is a plus n minus 1 into d which is equal to m what I am doing, I am subtracting. Means, sir, change this sign here. Is there a sign change? Mode. A A get cancelled. That is 0. Plus of M minus 1 into D minus N minus 1 into D. That is left hand side. Equal to right hand side N minus M. Now, uh, 0 that is gone. From these two terms, sir, D is common. Take D outside m minus 1 will be as it is. This minus get multiplied to these two. Minus into plus minus n minus into minus plus. Whole thing is multiplied with d which is equal to n minus m. Now you see minus 1 plus 1 get cancelled. And again this will be m minus n. m minus n into d is equal to left hand side also I can have m minus n. Uh, left hand side I have m minus n, right hand side also I can have m minus n. For that what you do, you take minus common, only minus common to order. n minus m to have m minus n, you take minus common. Minus if you take common, that is nothing but a m minus n. 
m minus n m minus n get cancelled what is the value of d d is equal to we are getting minus 1 d value are number minus 1 until birth now to find the a value first term and told do you get the first term you substitute in any one of the expression how the other one expression will leave substitution model let me substitute in equation 1 equation 1 implies equation 1 implies a plus m minus 1 into minus 1 which is equal to n now minus 1 get multiplied to these two a uh, minus into plus there is nothing but minus m minus into minus plus 1 which is equal to n send this to the right hand side a is equal to now the right hand side plus n minus m becomes plus m and plus 1 becomes a minus 1. What is the first term a? a is nothing but n plus m minus 1. That is first term d is minus 1. Now easily we can calculate the pth term. Easy now pth term and calculation mark both. pth term is nothing but a p a subscript p. a p is a plus p minus 1 into d a and d values already i have calculated substitute all those a is n plus m minus 1 plus of p minus 1 into d is minus 1 minus a keep it inside the bracket like this n uh, m plus n i can write m plus n minus 1 this minus 1 get multiplied to these two plus into minus minus p minus into minus plus 1 plus 1 minus 1 get cancelled so this is m plus n minus p then what about the pth term here therefore pth term is equal to m plus n minus p that's all about the problem number 4 now problem number 5 example 5 if the sum of n terms of an arithmetic progression is n p plus half times n into n minus 1 into q where p and q are constants, find the common difference. Common difference can be really the question. If the sum of n terms, Andre, Sn is equal to the how given you. Sn is equal to n p plus half into n into n minus 1 into q. P and Q are constant, right? And common difference can be D can be real. The question is, you know, you know, you know, solve it. But one simple way I will say, what is D? Common difference is nothing but a difference between any two consecutive terms. You know, 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 So here, I hope uh, Sn equal to that, we will use this properly. Sn is equal to np plus half of n into n minus n to q. If I substitute n is equal to 10, what it gives us? S10. S10 means sum of first n terms. And suppose if I substitute n is equal to 20, what it gives us? Sum of first 20 terms. With that concept, if I substitute n is equal to 1, means what? Sum of first two term, sum of first one term. That is nothing but first term. A1. So, n is equal to 1 if I substitute this is s1 is equal to that is nothing but a first term a1 is equal to in place of n I am substituting 1 this is 1 into p p plus of half into 1 into 1 minus 1 into q 1 minus 1 is nothing but 0 0 into anything this will be 0 I have a1 is equal to p first term I got that is p now I will substitute n is equal to 2 in the given expression s and what it gives us s2 is nothing but sum of first two terms that is nothing but a1 plus a2 that is a1 plus a2 so in the expression only s2 is equal to Andre, sum of first two terms I am substituting n is equal to 2 here that is nothing but 2p plus half into 2 into 2 minus 1 into q 2 to get cancelled a1 plus a2 is equal to 2b plus uh, 2 to get cancelled 2 minus 1 into q 
sum of first two terms it is a1 plus a2 a1 is already known to us a1 namu gorutre substitute that this is nothing but p plus a2 is equal to 2p plus q take this p to the right hand side a2 is equal to 2p plus q minus p 2p minus p is p a2 is equal to p plus q this is second term what i got is second term is first term then what is common difference common difference is equal to common difference d is equal to we know a2 minus a1 d is equal to what is a2 that is p plus q minus a what is a1 that is p plus p minus p get cancelled d is equal to q so common difference is q here Coming to example six, question is the sum of n terms of two arithmetic progressions. Andre, here the arithmetic progressions will be modulo n pada gada matta anta. R in the ratio, how much? How? One third of the value of it. That is three n plus eight is to seven n plus fifteen. Find the ratio of their twelfth terms. Hundred n pada gada matta. Hundred n pada gada. Third of the yes track that the n third. अंदर ये ना I have to calculate here है twelfth term of first AP divided by twelfth term of twelfth term of second AP what is twelfth term of first AP and twelfth term of second AP first AP and the second AP in the sense what are the differences first term will be different for both ये ना को first term बोल different रहता है तेरी and also common difference will be different for both the arithmetic progressions that means uh, let me consider those arithmetic uh, progressions uh, first term and uh, common differences as a uh, a1 a2 and uh, d1 d2 like that we will consider let a1 comma a2 and uh, d1 comma d2 are first terms first terms and uh, Common differences and common differences of common differences of first AP and second AP respectively. Like this, I am considering. Now coming to the question. Means question in the sense here, what I have to find out finally. Finally, now again, then we go on the twelfth term of the first AP is nothing but a1 plus 11d1 divided by twelfth term of second AP is nothing but a2 plus 11d2. This one I have to calculate. This is my calculation mark. No need to write it in the beginning. इधर नहीं हो beginning के लिए बड़ी तरह का आवश्यकता नहीं है। Just to uh, I have written that just to show you that what we need to calculate in this. ये problem वाली ना भी calculation मार बैठ के देते हैं तो ना ये लोग कुछ करा बर्दे देने। Okay, what is given here? ये लिए पटे दर रहे। Sum of n terms of two arithmetic progressions or any ratio अंदर आ अनुपात तो लेता हो means given that the sum of n terms of first ap divided by sum of n terms of second ap which is equal to 3n plus 8 divided by 7n plus 15 this is given to us important problem it is for three months 
Okay, with this concept, using this, I have to get that ratios. R ratio is not too big. Okay, sum of first n terms of first AP using the formula. Yes, sum is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. I will write here n by 2 into first AP 2a1 uh, into n minus 1 into d1 divided by sum of n terms of second AP that is n by 2 into 2a2 plus n minus 1 into d2 which is equal to 3n plus 8 divided by 7n plus 15. n by 2, n by 2 get cancelled. We have 2a1 plus n minus 1 into d1 divided by 2a2 plus n minus 1 into d2 which is equal to 3n plus 8 by 7n plus 15. Fine. Now, what we should have? We should have a1 plus 11 d1 in the denominator and a2 plus 11 d2 in the denominator. a1 coefficient should be 1. a1 na but a2 the sankhya sarag no kesha shirbakri 1 in the So, to have a1 and a2 coefficients 1, what we will do? We will take 2 common from the numerator and also 2 common from the denominator. Yes, taking 2 common from the numerator, this is a1 plus 2 is not there here. Now it becomes n minus 1 by 2 into d1 divided by again 2 I am taking common a2 plus n minus 1 by 2 into n minus 1 by 2 into d2 which is equal to 3n plus 8 by 7n plus 15. Okay. 2 to outside it is now it get cancels. What is remaining? A1 plus n minus 1 by 2 into D1 divided by A2 plus n minus 1 by 2 into D2 which is equal to 3n plus 8 divided by 7n plus 15. We have this one. Okay, we are getting the first term coefficients correctly. What about that D1 and D2 coefficients? D1 coefficient should be 11 and also D2 coefficient is 11. Here to 11, here to 11, n minus 1 by 2 is there. So, to have 11 in that case, what we need to substitute for n? Here, 11 barlike, now, n again, n and substitution mod by ko, that, okay? n minus 1 by 2 should be equal to how much? 11. Let me simplify this. n minus 1 is equal to 22. We have n is equal to 23. Even on right hand side, 22 plus 1, 23. n is equal to 23 and in your substitution model. Substituting, substituting n is equal to 23 in the above expression. We have a1 plus 23 minus 1 by 2 into d1 divided by a2 plus 23 minus 1 by 2 into d2 which is equal to 3 into 23 plus 8 divided by 7 into 23 plus 15. a1 plus 23 minus 1, 22. 22 by 2 into d1 divided by a2 plus 22 into 2 by d2 which is equal to 3 into 23 is nothing but 69 plus 8 divided by this one 7 3s are 21 2 carry 7 2s are 14 16 so 15 we have a1 plus 2s are 2 11s are a1 plus 11 d1 by a2 plus 11 d2 which is equal to 69 plus 8 77 divided by this one 176 therefore we will write here we are getting this is nothing but the 12th term of first AP and this one is nothing but the 12th term of second AP okay therefore ratio of 12th terms is 
17 is to 176. This is the answer. They have a common factor, we can cancel it. Hello, the common factor is the common factor. We can cancel it. And then, 11, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 6 is there, 66, so 11, 6. Instead of writing 77 is to 176, we can write 7 is to 16 also. We can cancel the common factor, that's all. 